brother from Mill. Can you hear me? Can you hear me, big brother? I like I think you're muted. Uh, yeah, I think you're muted. Unmute yourself. Okay, there you go. Peace, brother. You hear me? You hear me? I'm unmuted. I can hear you good. I can hear you good. Can you hear me? I hear you loud and clear, brother. How are you? <laughs> I'm good, brother. Oh, man. Talk about technical difficulties, black man. <laughs> oh, man. I've been trying to I've been trying to connect with you the last two days since Thursday, brother. I was on standby. What, what were you? What did you try? How did you try to reach me? Calling me? I called you on your home line. I, yeah. Yeah. OK. Left you a message on your phone. OK, let me uh, let me see how to get this thing here. Okay, there we go. That's what I'm trying to get to. Okay. Okay. Uh, I've got a few more people that's supposed to be coming on. Uh, yeah, I have not done it um, in this format in a very long time, brother. <laughs> very long time. And uh, so it's not one I'm more familiar with, but we build it as we fly it, <laughs> right, right, you know, right. you know, um, on the subject of, uh, on the subject of reparations, which you know is a touchy subject and for most people, especially those that sit in a position of power in this particular country, you know, that looking at reparations, it's almost as though they feel as though they're giving us or doing us some sort of favor, um, by giving us reparations as though we don't deserve it. You know, after 250 plus years, nearly 300 years of chattel slavery, we still yet have to fight and claw and scrape. Right. <laughs> Just like giving us what they owe us. Giving us what they owe us. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, not a handout of any sort. And then they have a bill now that was put into place. Um, I believe it was 1988. The H.R. 40 bill, 1989, H.R. 40 bill, which was uh was deemed as working on a plan uh, for reparations. And right. up to this point, it has gotten no, no leeway except recently in San Francisco. From what I understand, San Francisco is really on the move in terms of getting this uh, proposed reparations <laughs> to Black folk. I'm glad you brought that up, brother. Yes, sir. Um, on the 14th, today is the 18th. Right. The NAACP of San Francisco, led by Uncle Tom ass Negro, <laughs> Amos Brown. Yes, I was going to talk about ass him. nigger. <laughs> I'm calling him a nigger. Yes, sir. That's exactly what he is. Amos Brown. <laughs> they came out with a with a letter. Yes, they I have it. I have it. Which they go against <laughs> giving us the cash that we're owed. Yep talking about putting it into some other ass you know anemic program yeah that's not gonna do us no damn good not at all not at all because the problem is the wealth gap right that's the problem the damn wealth gap yep which they want to keep that gap wider and wider so that we can remain this disempowered people that right. we are financially that's, that's right that's right that's right to all the new uh Participants that just jumped on the on the Zoom, can you hear my voice clearly? Putting the number one in the screen, if you can hear me. Can you hear me? You can hear me? All right. Gail, can you hear me? No? Okay. Uh, hmm, you may need earphones. Okay. Um, let me see. Are you muted? No, you're not. Okay. Hmm. How are you? Shout out to Margaret for getting on the stream tonight. Abdul, you said you can hear me. You can't hear me. Okay. Uh, see if you can get earphones and then come back onto the stream. Okay. All right. Earphones for you, Gail, as well. 
earphones. Okay. All right, we're going to continue. We're going to continue. Yeah, that's uh, that was very interesting. For those that are not familiar with uh, the special guest tonight, Mr. Camille Shabazz, um, he's a community activist and been active in the community about issues that affect us as a Black community for as long as I can possibly remember. He's always had a heart and a consciousness for doing such. And in, the, in addition to that, he's a father, family man, and the author of the best-selling book, Macadine University. I would advise every young man to get their hands on that book. It can be purchased at Amazon.com. It's The Macadine. The Macadine. <laughs> Absolutely. The Macadine. Macadine University is the yeah, site. Is the site itself, right. Teach The, the Macadine. <laughs> The Macadine is the actual uh, book itself. Um, Abdul, if you can, get Gail uh, some earphones. Can you hear me? No, you cannot hear me? All right. Okay, we're going to continue. Um, yeah, brother, that, that individual, Amos Brown, was something else. I have the the uh, proposal for the rejection of the actual $5 million being given. And you know, you got a lot of, that you can always count on getting uh, a boot licking sock puppet Negro to, uh, to step up on the line, on the front line to be the main person against any, inju any justice that's uh, due to us as a people. You can count on it it's, without fail, you know? And, um, Amazing that they get these they get these little mouthpieces to get in front of us to speak on the on behalf of what would benefit white people. Now, funny that he said uh, he wanted this money to go into programs, he wanted to go into education. What education? What schools do we own? Um, if this money goes into education, it's going to go into to the same inferior education that we already currently have, which will still give white people control over the same monies that they are supposed to be giving to us as it relates to reparations. Same thing with healthcare. He said it should be put into healthcare. Well, with $5 million, you can buy your own healthcare. Right. Uh, it should be put into housing. Well, $5 million, you can buy your own house. And if it's about land, you can purchase your own land as well. So um, I believe that any black person who's against financial reparations is against reparations entirely. That's my personal feelings on that. Um, how, how do you feel about that, Brother Camille? He's actually against his own self. <laughs> you know, exactly. simple yes, as that. Sir. He's against his own self. That's because right. Because what rational, sane-minded black man wouldn't want something that they earn? That's right. Just by That's inheritance right. law. Inheritance right. law itself That's right. gives you what is owed to you. And here you are, so against yourself. Right. You're going to say, no, I don't want that. That's a handout. <laughs> How the hell is that a handout? <laughs> That's right. Not a handout to the Jews. No, not at all. Not a handout to nobody else but you. That's because right. Because you have a sick, slave-minded, you know That's what I'm saying? That's right. So, That's right. bottom line, you know, Amos, he got the perfect name. Amos and fucking Andy. <laughs> <laughs> Damn house nigga. Amos man. and Andy. That's right. Oh. I, <laughs> you know, he's got the perfect name. He's an Amos. Yeah, he's definitely an Amos. The perfect name. And it's funny that you should mention that the Jews were also given uh, a form of reparation because they absolutely were. Yeah. And I don't know how many black people know that they were given $86 billion to not just themselves, but their heirs. $86 billion was given to them. You know? In addition to others, Japan, they were also given 86,000 Japanese Americans were given $20,000 per exactly. person. Exactly. You know, exactly. and uh, so we know this history of many of those that were received reparations and none of them nearly went through what we went through as black people here in this country. And yet you'll still find, like you said, an old Amos and Andy Negro that'll stand up against that. Uh, and it's, here's the other funny thing that I've heard, and I'm pretty sure you've heard it too. Um, they've they've uh, rebuked California for even having the proposal in the first place by saying California hasn't been a slave state. See, that goes to show you the level of ignorance, mm -hmm. because during the gold rush, mm -hmm. that's mm -hmm. when many Southern slave owners came into California and they brought hundreds of slaves with them. 
Mm-hmm. California was not necessarily a slave state, but they didn't stop the influx of slaves and its slave owners from still utilizing those same blacks under free labor. They, they didn't stop it. And what it was on top of that, it was mm-hmm. a slave catching state. Oh, yeah. Any oh, slave yeah. that came here for refuge or to start a fresh life. That's right. Getting captured. That's right. And no, sent back. Exactly. 100% correct. 100% correct. And yeah. a lot of people don't know that about California. California has been always deemed as a state that was not a slave state. Mm-hmm. It was a free state in words, but in deeds and actions, they proved otherwise that they were absolutely in support of what even the South was already doing to black people as it relates to slavery. Exactly. So what do you think, Brother Camille, what do you think if in fact the five million was say, say that bill, say that went through, that proposal went through and was passed and signed off by, by presidents, by government. And that five million was then distributed amongst the descendants of slaves in California, in that general area. What do you think would be the next recourse of action and where that's concerned? Because that again still leaves so many of us on uh, okay. without well, justice. See, what is not understood is that on the surface, this proposal seems like it's just cut and dry that they're right. gonna get five million dollars. Mm-hmm. But if you look at the proposal, man, it's a lot of loopholes. There's yeah. a lot of different hoops that you have to go through. You yeah. have to be qualified, like coming here in the 40s and 50s and being <laughs> yeah. denied housing. Right. This is not no cut and dry case. And, yeah. not, and anybody that gets this money mm-hmm. will have to earn it in an incredible kind of way. Yeah. It'll be almost like winning a lottery if you fit the criteria. Right. Wow. So, yeah, so it's not, it's not the way it appears, you know, on the news, like that uh, in particular article that I shared on the magazine where it's, it was saying what they wanted to give us out here. Yeah. But it's not that cut and dry, man. There's many hoops that gotta gotta be, you know, gone through for that to happen. Yeah. And uh if it did happen, believe you me, it's not gonna be easily granted, brother. Believe you me, it's gonna be yeah. stipulations and, and roadblocks because yeah, America does not want to empower us due Absolutely. to the fact that they fear that we're gonna link on. To some enemy yep. and repay them for what they did to for us. For what they did to us. That's, that's their fear. Yeah, that's their fear. That's their fear. Absolutely. So me, there will be laws to find a way mm-hmm. to, you know, like giving somebody a wallet full of money with a rubber band attached to it. <laughs> They'll find a way to take it back. <laughs> They'll find a way to take it back. That's a fact. <laughs> <laughs> In some way, form, or fashion. Right. Right. <laughs> and they were saying that if the money was issued, that... Uh, there would be all your, I say, all your loans would be forgiven. You heard that too, right? Right. Yeah. right. So, <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. It sounds yeah. so good. I know it sounds so good, right? That's when you know it's a problem. That's going to be some, it's going to be some little uh, small things in there that you're not paying attention to. <laughs> yeah, they never oh, want to ever give us anything, brother, which yeah. they're not giving us anything. No. You go back to the original special order number 15 which mm-hmm. is the 40 acres and the mule clause right right by uh, william sherman that's right they didn't even want to give us that that's right See, that 40 acres and the mule was they were going to lease the land to us yeah it was going to allow us to to till it for free for three years yeah. but then after that we had to buy it <laughs> yeah yeah they were never giving us what's owed to us man right right Right. It always got to be some bullshit in the game. That's true. That's true. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. And forty acres and the mule was is nothing to ask for. That was nothing, nothing be- because they, you know, uh, and and that's that's the real thing, man. That 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 uh, they don't understand. Um, they would rather uh, Mitch McConnell. He says something very interesting. I think is indicative of the whole mindset that white people have as it relates to this whole subject of reparations. He said, I don't see why reparations is necessary. And I'm paraphrasing him. And he said, for something that was done 150 years ago, of which none of us that are here and alive today had anything to do with. Mm -mm -mm. I said, wow. I said, wow. Mm. You know, um, it goes to show you how deep it goes where they don't really give a damn about what happens with us. And uh, and what's really what's really funny to me is that so many Blacks I've talked to have this same 
sentiment. Mm -hmm. And you know what they highlight? They highlight the same things almost like Mitch McConnell did, because he highlighted the fact that we've we fought for civil rights. We helped to support civil rights and we we uh, we elected their first black president. And uh, he went down the list of things. You know, there's many successful blacks here now. We got uh, movie star artists. We got movie artists and we got celebrity singers now. We got many of millionaire black people in this country. Why are these Negroes? crying for reparations you know and i think that's the sentiment that a lot of them have because they're looking at television they're looking at social media and they're seeing that we have made some strides in some areas but the success of just a few they know also but many of our people are just so blind we don't understand that success of a few does not indicate the success of an entire nation of people and that's what they're not looking at especially where our people are concerned white people know very well what they're doing absolutely and uh they know exactly what they're doing but they know that many of us are so easily bought off so easily easily able willing to sell out that they can almost bet that they'll have more individuals that share our reflection that'll be against the proposal thereby justifying them and not giving us anything anyway you know and then we'll just quietly go off into the sunset <laughs> and mm -hmm. forget about it like we always do with many things, you know? Right. Yeah, that's that's the sad thing, you know? Well, if you look at the situation with Amos Brown, he he did a 360-degree turn because he was for it a few months ago. Yes. Yeah. So yeah. somewhere between that time and them giving... Dwayne Wade's transgender son, this humanitarian award. Right, right. It was a change of heart. Right. See? So that tells me that a, a deal with the devil was made. Mm hmm yeah. Where they told them, you can't have this unless you do this. Mm hmm Right. You know, give the queer nation <laughs> their, their, their accolades right. and praise. Right. You know, to the detriment of your own people. That's right. And then go against reparations. And then you can be our house, you know, number one house nigga <laughs> the West Coast. <laughs> you know, number one house nigga. Yeah. You can get that <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and a lot of these house niggas are just happy to be standing next to Kamala Harris and oh, Jesse man. Jackson and <laughs> any other bootlick and puppet <laughs> that they can exactly. stand next to. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, brother. Exactly. So we have a great, we got a great fight ahead of us man because absolutely our one enemy once again is our own damn people yep they're the number one prosecutors and lawyers for their enemy yep that's you know? a fact. That's if a fact. all the white man gotta do is listen to their arguments and he gives our people give them ideas yeah on that's how right. to oppose reparations that's right because they come up with all these hypotheses mm -hmm. on how we shouldn't get them right and the white man oh okay that, damn, that's a good one yeah, I said, we ain't think about that one. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Yeah, you know, just undoing your own yeah. blessing, your own yeah. potential damn come up. That's right. Yeah, so. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I don't know, brother. It's sometime, we, sometime when I look at our condition, brother, and, uh, you know, you got to keep the hope in your people alive within yourself, you know, but I tell you, man, sometimes you get to a place where you say, you know what, how long have we been here? How many issues have we protested against? Right. Right. How right. many marches have we done? How many times have we beat on the door of government to give us our just due? Exactly. And then, and then find ourselves still without the justice that we deserve. It makes me get to a point sometime, brother, you should be like, you know what? It ain't gonna never happen. I don't know. Have you ever you ever get like that? Absolutely, man. Yeah, and it, it will take you into a depression. Absolutely, because we're aware. We know we have a degree yeah. of knowledge itself, man. Yeah. We're aware of what's going on. That's right. And ninety percent of our people are still in the dark, man. That's a fact. You know, they're still in the damn dark, and they still believe that you know the government is their friend. That's a fact. You know, so yeah, it's depressing, my brother. It really yeah. is. Yeah, depressing. But yeah. we gotta keep chugging along because yes, sir. universal law is 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 getting at them. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Their banks yeah. are breaking down. That's Their right. economy is collapsing. That's true. And they know. <laughs> just thinking about it, mm -hmm. they yeah. know that you know you can't outdo universal law. 
Yeah. You know what you yeah. reap, you will what you sow, you will eventually reap. Absolutely. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? So Absolutely. they know. They know. Yeah. And Absolutely. a large group of them are in favor of us getting our reparations. A large group of whites, you mean you mean, right? Yes, yes. Yeah, large, yeah they know. A lot of them, yeah. A lot yeah. of them know that uh for the success of this country, we have to get the justice that we deserve. They know exactly. that. Exactly. Yeah. That's a fact. But once again, it's like the anti-black, mm -hmm. you know, sentiment that's like in the very fabric of this nation. Yeah. That's yeah. in the nature, in the DNA of this nation of this nation. Yeah. That's what has to be undone. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. Now, I don't know if you're familiar with this book right here called The Black Tax. No. By Sean Rochester. Deep book, man. Deep yeah. book. Goes into what they owe us. Really? You know, what the amount of our labor constituted. Mm -hmm. Like, our labor back then was the equivalent of $50 trillion. Wow. Yes. Wow. You no know, unpaid labor. Yeah. You know? And yeah. The Jews and the Japanese, they're getting paid back all these these billions of dollars right. for just four years mm -hmm. of being in a concentration camp. Right. Being out here in California in a concentration mm -hmm. camp. What about four centuries, man? Right. You can't really put a damn price tag on that. That's right. That's right. But our Indian brothers, look at them. They got casinos. They got land. Mm-hmm. They have gotten some form of reparations. That's right. And there was a young lady, I believe her name was, uh, uh, I'm, I know her last name was Tear Beer. She was, in, she was Indian. She came out and tweeted because they were trying to use their struggle with our struggle. Mm. And they tried to put uh, the reparations we deserve along with the reparations for Indians as well because they were the <laughs> original people that was here on the in the united states before uh the slaves were brought here this is what this her her, her argument was mm -hmm. and this one indian sister came out she said she said don't use us as a conversation where reparations are concerned she said because we already have a treaty and we already have uh benefits afforded to us so leave us out of that conversation where reparations are concerned where African Americans are concerned. Right. And I thought that was spot on when she did that because mm -hmm. that shut them down, <laughs> you know, because they like to try to use the Indians and mm -hmm. us in the same conversation. And right. you can't say, you simply can't do that. Right. But they tried. Yeah. They certainly did. Yeah. Yes. I mean, everybody tries to piggyback on us. That's true. No. <laughs> yeah. Different races be using Martin Luther King. Oh, yeah. We overcome. Right. You know that's true so yeah we're the, we're the ones that's used and abused on, on in, in all you know what i'm saying sectors brother that's right and it's time for it to end it really absolutely is. absolutely but get this book man because yeah what is that that's called, about the, that's called the black, the black tax. tax by sean rochester sean rochester okay deep book man yeah i'm gonna grab it for sure the black tax sean rochester okay and let's look at the fact that the government gave millions of acres of land mm -hmm. through the Homestead Act. Yeah. To Europeans for free. <laughs> for free. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? For but about 60, 70 years. Yeah. The late 1800s to the 40s, they gave them millions and millions of acres of American land yeah. for free. Wow. All they had to do was till it. Wow. They gave it to them. But we can't even get. 40 acres in the mule. That's it. Without having to pay for that. Yep. Yeah. And, you know, it's funny to me um, how blatant, how blatant white people have been and how this government has been mm -hmm. as it relates to giving us anything that we're asking for, even small justices, not even something big. You know, it, it's amazing how really sleek and deaf and dumb that we are, that mm -hmm. Even all of our celebrities that hear this, they know it, and none of them are willing to stand up and say a word, brother. Mm -hmm. Danny Glover, Danny Glover is one of the only ones that's been, I would say, very vocal as it relates to uh, reparations and what we deserve. 
Mm-hmm. He's been very vocal. And uh, mm-hmm. I, I can see what happened to, to him as a result. <laughs> they blocked his jobs. <laughs> yeah. Can't see him since he's the <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, this nigga trying to open his mouth. <laughs> we can't, don't give him another damn deal. <laughs> right. Yeah, brother. And that's usually what happens with us when we decide to stand up. You can count on something happening, especially if you're in some kind of particular position of, of power or authority or anything like that, or mm-hmm. any celebrity status, you know? That's right. Yeah, brother. Or if he come back, he had to come back in the dress. <laughs> yeah, that'll, you know? that'll, that'll call off all the problems and issues, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's how they penalize you. They take you through that humiliation uh-huh. ritual. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. We have to emasculate itself first. Yeah, you have to be a whole <laughs> granny. That's right. <laughs> That's the truth. That is the truth. Yeah. <laughs> That's the truth. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, brother. You know, they don't want to repair the damage done to us, brother. They no. Don't no, it's they don't. A part of the script, man. Yeah, that's right. It's not a part of their script. Not a part of the script. That's right. That's right. So it's going to take war and, and destruction, unfortunately, of some type. Yeah. To wake them up. Yeah. Wake them up, man. Yeah. That's true. Because, you know, every year they give hundreds of billions to other nations. Oh, yeah. You know? Yeah. America gives money mm-hmm. to Afghanistan, gave them about, I think, a $4.8 billion last year. And these are enemies. Yeah. And gave them Israel, money. Israel is a welfare state because yep. you spoke about how the Jews got a certain what eighty six billion. Eighty six, like eighty six billion, yeah. But every year they get three point three billion from America, wow. just for being a welfare state. And before wow. Obama went out of office, he gave them twenty billion for mm. weapons. Oh God! So yeah, yeah, brother, this is something, man. Yeah, so you know, Israel is their watchdog of the East. Yeah. <laughs> That's their watchdog, exactly. Their watchdog. They do all their dirty work. Yeah. You know, opposes all their enemies. Yep. All the Muslim communities, Iran, whoever. Yeah. They got missiles aimed at all of them for America. Yeah. Wow. Wow. All right, Daddy's talking right now. I understand. (laughs) Yes, ma'am. Yeah, brother, that's true, man. That is true. I'm going to, what I want to do, brother Camille. Um, this is going, I want to do a four part series of this. Okay. And, uh, what you do, you do, you go, you do, uh, you know, you get with your research team, (laughs) you know, and, uh, I'll do so on this side so we can add a lot more value to this subject. I think if more people did this, um, it would just put more highlight and more notice on, on this whole subject, you know, can't be just a few people talking about it. I think it needs to be, it needs to saturate every community where we're concerned this subject you know absolutely because either we're going to get it or they're going to tell us to go to hell and not going to give us nothing they've been saying go to hell anyway or they're going to just come out outright blatantly and say niggas we ain't giving you shit <laughs> <laughs> so go somewhere and sit down you know <laughs> yes. you know so well, they're showing us that anyway yeah you no know, yeah. they're showing us without telling us that's true because you know, actually do speak louder than words that's right I remember right. Bill Clinton saying gave black people an alternative back when he was in office. Yeah. He said, we'll apologize <laughs> for slavery if you give up, rep- you know, the, 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 the argument of reparations. Mm. That's what he said. Wow. Yeah, you give that argument up, we, yeah. I will apologize. <laughs> you give that argument, we'll apologize. As if, an, choice, huh? as if an apology means any damn thing. <laughs> the white man has no problem making <laughs> anything that he breaks. That's you right. Know? So you That's don't right. mean anything he says. That's right. That's right. So yeah, brother, I want to do another a, a part two to this. Uh, probably sometime uh, towards the end of this week. End of this week coming, okay? Better work, my brother. But yeah, brother, it's been an honor having you on the platform this evening, brother. <laughs> I'm yes, sir. I'm yes, sir. Good I'm to see you. Likewise. Good to, good to see you and talk to you. Love you, my brother. And, uh, you know, yes, looking forward to part two. 
Yes, sir. And many more collaborations, brother. Yes, we got sir. a lot more to do. Yes, and sir. So we go all the way back. Yeah. 1985. 1985. Yes, sir. 1985. Nation yeah. of Islam. Yes, sir. You know? Nation yes, of sir. Islam. Under yes. Abdul Kareem Muhammad. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. Come a long way. We're showing our yeah. age. That was 38 yeah. years ago, brother. Yeah, brother. Ain't that something? And we're blessed. 38 to years. And be strong. And I got a little three year old daughter walking around. And yeah. So we blessed, man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, so my brother. We'll connect again soon, brother. Look forward to it, my yes, brother. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That... Blessing. Salute to everybody else. Yes, yes sir. Peace. Thank you for all for getting on the stream. Peace.